Before we start, look at all these feathers. She molded all of this just within the last two days. And this is only what I found in my bedroom. This doesn't include her cage or the rest of the house or what I've vacuumed up already. This is just what happens to be here right now. So many feathers. Wow. This one's lovely. Do you want it back? Yeah, good job. Hello everybody, my name is Eden, this is Tallulah, and today we're going to be talking about the difference between pigeons and doves. And she really likes her feather. So at this point in time, doves are considered to be the small or white birds that are traditionally released in some cultures, uh, like weddings, funerals, and things like that. Whereas pigeons are typically thought of as the large ones that you see on the streets. Both of these descriptions are both correct and incorrect. But before we get into that, I'd like to say a quick thank you to everyone who likes, subscribes, and comments. It's super encouraging. I really appreciate it. The reason why both those descriptions of what a pigeon and dove is are both correct and incorrect is because while they are correct, they're also too restrictive. And the reason for that is because the difference between a pigeon and a dove is linguistic, not scientific. Pigeon and dove can be used interchangeably when describing members of the Columbidae family because they're simply two words for the same thing. The term pigeon is French and dove is Germanic slash Norse. Dove was first integrated into English with pigeon joining later on. Pigeon is often used to describe the larger Columbidae, whereas dove is used to describe the smaller ones, but this is far from a rule. What you doing? Do you want to go somewhere? Good job. Whee! Wanna step down? Do you like some num nums? For example, the Columbidae that most people are familiar with being Columba livia domestica, which is the species that Tallulah is. <gasps> yes, you are. You know what you are. Good job. Good job. And her species is frequently called a uh, dove, pigeon, rock dove, rock pigeon, and yeah. And for the feral versions, a feral pigeon. It makes her species the perfect example because within textbooks, she's called both dove and pigeon on a regular basis. Most people in North America commonly think of rock doves as simply pigeons and consider them to be very different than a dove. While the term dove typically creates an image of beautiful white birds being released at ceremonies, pigeons create the image of a dirty animal living on the street. But not only are both the birds living on the streets... What did you do? You threw your toy on the ground, that's loud. Which is a little bit ironic considering that both those birds, the ones living on the streets and being released at ceremonies, are not only the same species but usually even the same breed. The only difference being that people choose to use the white ones for ceremonies. Additionally, confusion can arise when we refer to the large ones as pigeons and the small ones as doves. For example, you could have one pigeon that's distantly related to a pigeon from another location, but is closely related to a dove from the same area that it's from. Since those words are linguistic in nature, not scientific, it can give an inaccurate representation of the relationships within the Columbidae family. At the end of the day, all this really means is that you can feel free to use pigeon and dove interchangeably. For those of you who discuss Columbidae more frequently, I do recommend aiming to be specific with your language. For example, instead of asking do doves make good pets, specify the species you're interested in, such as asking about ring neck doves specifically to avoid getting information on rock doves or something like a diamond dove. If you're interested in learning more about the topic we discussed today, there is a ridiculous amount of links in the description below. I hope you found this video interesting. If there's any topics you'd like me to discuss, leave those in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Look what I've got. Yeah. Whoa, it rings. <laughs> Good job. Yeah. Do you want to go? Wow, good job!